doing the intake manifold gasket and the oil sending unit on the Chevy Tahoe. This one's a 2002, it's got the 5.3 liter motor in it. And I've got the intake manifold pulled. In order to pull the intake manifold, you have to pull the bolts along the side here. And you also have to undo the harness for the uh, fuel injectors. You gotta do the fuel pressure regulator vacuum hose. And then also the hose that goes from here to the um, valve cover, the back side for the PCV system. I also need a quick disconnect tool to take the fuel lines off. For those that aren't familiar, um, these ones you get off the Mack truck and you just use this top two. Basically they split apart and you stick them over the fuel line like this. These are the best ones to use. They go up inside the thing and you slide it on and they go over that rib and then you're able to slide them off completely. This basically puts the springs up over that little nub. So that's why that works. Um, what else should I tell you? The knock sensors on these are under this plate. Sometimes you'll have an oil leak around there. This one was leaking um, at the back where the, let me see if I can get a good close up of that. At the very back of that plate, you can see where the white plug is. That's the oil sending unit. It's leaking pretty bad. Uh, right next door you have the crankshaft position sensor. It's another one I'll probably tag on this video. And basically you just undo the side harnesses for the ignition coils. There's one on this side and there's another one on this side. So just undo those. Uh, by way of tricky stuff, the only other tricky thing on this job is uh, the coolant line that you have here up underneath the throttle body. It ties in right here. Let's see if I can get a better angle on that. You can't see that. Let's get a light. Just have to undo uh, this little pipe right here. And then the other side, I just set it up here and just leave it intact. As far as the bolts go, there's going to be five on each side. You've got two that are close together back here. One, two. And then two that are close together opposite here. One, two. There's an updated intake manifold gasket and uh, old school one. The old school one are in about 40 bucks. It's about 75 bucks for this one. I got this one at Checker. And the fanciness of this one is it's the Perma, Perma Dry Plus. They want a lot more money for it because it corrects the problem that these encounter. It's just more heavy duty. If you're going to bother doing this, do the Permandary Plus. That's what everybody's telling me. So, anyway, I'm going to go out. The next thing I'm going to do, I'm going to pull this plate up. I'm going to pull those bolts all the way around. And you'll see there, there's the knock sensors that are underneath it here. They're the ones that tie into the side here um, on, the, on the side of the intake manifold. I'm really tired. Yesterday was opening day at Sundance Ski Resort. And so I was there from the very beginning of the day. I was the very last one to get off the chair. And I'm spent. I'm like calorie crashed today. <laughs> so anyway, it was a lot of fun. But that's why I seem... I don't have that enthusiasm that I sometimes have. So, but anyway, hope you enjoyed the video. If you did, be sure to rate it, comment, uh, subscribe. And if you found this helpful, doing those things will uh, help keep the videos coming. So, hope you enjoy it. Good luck. Okay, so I went ahead and I pulled this pan off. Uh, this is the pan that houses the knock sensors. They just sit right down in there. Like, here's what a knock sensor looks like. They just screw in, one goes here, and the other one goes a little bit further back. What they do is they just indicate if you have a misfire, they help the computer to diagnose where the misfire is coming from, or when the engine misfires. To get the plugs off of them, uh, basically you got to slide these things up the wire before you take the pan off, and then these plugs you squeeze them long way, so you squeeze them from the left and right of what you see here, not from skinny way, but from the outside. You got to use a pair of pliers or something that will pop it off. You say from here you can see the oil sending unit a lot better. That's the new one I just put in. Sit next to it. It's a crankshaft position sensor. and uh, Or camshaft position sensor I should say. But anyway, uh, that's how it goes. The other thing I was going to highlight with this video is uh, this is the new updated Permadry uh, 
gasket. You'll notice that it's got these little, uh, where the head bolts are here and here. It just sits over the top of them. The old gasket for the intake manifold, it came off by uh, clips that actually clipped it down to the uh, intake manifold itself. There's a clip on each end where the manifold's built to accept them. So here's what the old gaskets look like. They clip up as opposed to hanging down. So, anyway, that's that.